Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Nice to see you. Nice to be back here and it's nice to be talking in a shave video again. Um, yeah, how are you doing? It's good to see you. It's nice to be uh, yap, 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 yap. The last video, wow, that was tough. Probably one of the shortest videos I've ever made. Um, if anyone's not seen it, I did a video where I didn't talk at all. I didn't talk any time through the shave. I didn't stop the shave. I just shaved three passes, a little bit of pickups, and um, I didn't talk. I didn't talk at all. I, you found it hard to watch. How hard do you think it was for me to film it? <laughs> I'm, uh, I, like a, I like a bit of chat with my viewers and kind of interaction and stuff like that. Not that it's live interaction, but you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, so it was quite difficult. And actually there was one, when I was lathering up, I dropped the brush and I almost went, ah, duh. and I almost threw the towel in and just started talking. But I thought, no, no, let's, uh, let's try and uh, persevere with this. So um, I've done it. I think the video came in at about 11 minutes, so this one might be a little bit longer. Definitely a little bit longer. Yeah, so how's things where you are? Good, I hope? Yeah, right. Um, okay, uh, a bit of a nice shave tonight. I don't have that much stubble. I've got about two, three days growth, but it's there. Yeah, um, right, let me show you the razor. The new one from Yaki, the, uh, the adjustable. You know how they have the final cut and they had the final cut in, um, they did it in brass, uh, but this this one is now in uh, stainless steel, and this one is called the Yaki Ultima. Uh, and here it is here. Yeah, it's a little bit steamy in this bathroom. Um, yeah, it's similar, but it's all stainless steel. The handle is slightly different. It's cut with a kind of, just lines down it, just a nice um, pattern on there. Yeah, it's a two-piece razor. You twist the bottom like this, and the head comes off like that. It's very nicely made, actually. Uh, let me show you it there. Yeah, beautifully made, all stainless steel. And um, this one has a number on it. I think they were going to be doing like um, a limited edition, like so many of them. So that, that number on that is uh, Y Yaki 23040. <laughs> you probably can't see it, it's steamed up. Yeah, yeah, so there is there, Y23040. Zero four zero. Uh, nothing on that side, and it has has Yaki DLC under here. Yeah, it's a bit warm in this bathroom. Um, the only thing is they didn't paint the numbers in, so the numbers go from one to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, but you can easily paint the numbers in. There's videos of guys doing it on YouTube. I think um, Mark at Friendship Shaving did a video. Uh, it's very easy to do, but this is the way it came, so this is how I'm going to use it. Yeah, it's a very nice razor. The handle length is 77 millimeters. The total length of the razor is 88 millimeters. The handle diameter is 12 millimeters, and the weight is about 100 grams. So, um, because it's stainless steel, yeah, it does have a bit of heft to it, but it's very nice razor. Um, you adjust it here. There's a little dial here. You turn that and the head lifts up as you can see. Oh, good, like that. And it does, it does um, adjust from one, two, three, four, five, six, and it goes to number one again. So it's actually one to seven, I guess. Right, the blade I'm gonna be putting in that, um, I was really impressed with this blade, actually. It's the Wilkinson Sword, uh, the made in Brazil, for the, the Brazilian wet shaving market. Uh, so I'm going to use that blade. So here it's here. Uh, that's how I mark it because it's a plain wrapper. WS Brazil Wilkinson sword. It's had one use on it, so this is its second use. Yeah, I should have noticed that when I when I t took it the blade out. So there's that side of it, and the other side says at the bottom there um, something about Brazil, Brasileira. So that's the that's the the blade I'm using. Right, let's take this off. Put the blade on the on the thread here. That's the blade on. You put that back in there. You don't have to. There's no lines on either side to um, line up. You just twist the bottom like that, and it's uh, it's not sitting in right, is it? No, because I've got it on its high setting. I wonder, that seems, wow, that's a bit of a blade gap. 
<laughs> right, I'll put it down to its low setting and uh, twist it on and then we'll adjust it from there. So there's the, the blade exposure there. All looks good. Yeah, very good. No overhang at all on this razor, which is pretty good. Right, so there's the numbers. Can you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, and the dot shows you what number you're on. So number one being the lowest setting. So I think I'll start this on. Um, let's go. Let's go up to number. Let's go the full hog. So that's right the way around to number one again. So look at that gap. You can see the gap there. Yeah, quite a quite a big big gap. Let's see how aggressive it is. Right, the brush I'm using is the uh, Strike Gold Shave Portis, and it's soaking in the a guest appearance from the Sticky Toffee Pudding Super Soaker. The what? Sticky Toffee Pudding Super Soaker. Sticky Toffee Pudding Super Soaker. Yeah, this used to have sticky toffee pudding in it, pudding in it, but someone ate it. Who could that have been, Kevy? I have no idea. Mrs. Kevy, I think, or Riley. Yeah, so there's the brush there. It's a badger brush. Let's just uh, show you this brush, how nice it is. Yeah, so you can get them. It has the Strike Gold sh uh, Shave coin in the bottom. There is there, a shave like a president. Yeah, nice uh, badger hair knot. Right, the soap I'm going to be using is tabac. Uh, this is a shave stick, comes in this box, for those of you that don't know, haven't seen it before, here it is here, it's a very old soap, probably made from the 50s in Germany, unscrew it, and there it is there, it has a little bit at the bottom that you can push up and push the soap up and push it back down and it goes like that. So I'll just apply that to the face and then we'll start lathering with the brush, let's wet the face. You know that way sometimes when you regret doing things. <laughs> I did that tonight. I had my dinner, my tea, whatever you want to call it. Right, I'll just wet the soap. So the face is wet, so I'll just gather the soap on the bristles. And um, I was having a, a coffee after my meal. And someone had bought, bought us a box of chocolates, or given us a box of chocolates. So I thought, ooh, some chocolates. And uh, because the weather's been nice here, I put them in the fridge to keep them kind of chilled and cool, so they didn't all melt. And I thought, oh, there's one of those purple ones with the, um, with the, the, what's in the middle of it? It's like an almond or a, some kind of nut, a hazelnut, I think it is. So it's like chocolate, and inside it's caramel with a hazelnut. And I was like, oh. Those ones are great. <laughs> so I took it out of the wrapper and I bit into it and because it had been in the fridge it was a little bit hard. I bit into it and I bit the, the, the hazelnut right on my tooth and a piece of my tooth came off. And I was like, why did I eat those chocolates? <laughs> yeah, so I'll be, um, I'll be a trip to the dentist tomorrow. It's not sore or anything like that, but it's just annoying. It's just that mm, there's a little bit down there that's... Every time your tongue goes to it. Right, let's get this brush. Give it a little shake. And I'll just start lathering the tobacco. Yeah, look, so can you see that? That's where it's been gathering on the bristles, all the, the soap. Yeah, I've not used this brush for a long time. Right, let me just open the window because it's getting a bit steamed up in here while I'm lathering up. Yeah. <laughs> there were some people who um, left comments on the last video where I didn't talk and they were like, oh, Kevin, I didn't like that. I'm used to you uh, chatting and stuff. I am too, but I just wanted to try it. A little bit of water getting out of there. I'll just let you listen to the uh, Scotland outdoors. I'm filming this in the evening, so it's about, um, I think, 8 o'clock, something like that. 
a bit more water. Yeah, tobacco has a quite a polarizing scent. Some people love it. Some people think it smells like an old ashtray. I don't. I, I never used to like it, but as I've got older, I um started to enjoy it. It's a nice scent now. I like it. Right, so just painting in more water here. Very thirsty soap tobacco. You can uh, take a lot of water. Yeah, I've got it in the um, ceramic bowl as well, but I, shot, I saw that shave stick and I, I actually thought that was to fat. You know, where the one I mixed the tobacco and Mitchell's wool fat. But um, I have it written on the box if it's to fat and it wasn't, so I thought, right, it's just tobacco. And it is just tobacco, right. Yeah, the thing about that last video, I couldn't even say about the Wilkinson sword brush, I couldn't say, yeah, it's okay, it's a good brush, because I just thought, right, it'll work. And I just wanted to get the shave done. Minimum of fuss. And then. <laughs> yeah, look, tobacco, brilliant. More water. This has one. Uh, got to be one of the comfiest brushes to hold. Uh, yeah, it's just super, super comfy to hold. Hmm. Good, look at that. Superb. Yeah, really nice. Right, I'll just uh, set the brush there. Get this razor, get some heat in the blade. Wait, let's get cleaned up first. Look at this mess. There's more lather on my shirt than there is on my face. <laughs> There's more lather. Right, shut that window. Right, let's get some heat in the Wilkinson sword blade. Right, Yaki Ultima, the uh, stainless steel adjustable from Yaki, setting one to six, although it's on number one again, so one to seven, so it's highest setting. Uh, there's the blade there. Right, let's see how this feels. Right, you can feel the blade, but it's smooth, very smooth. It's not slippery in the handle. On the handle, there's not much, not much grip there. There's little lines, but there's a grip on the bottom. But that is, um, I don't know whether that's that blade adding to that smoothness, but a plus of soap as well. There's a little bit of blade feel. I thought there would be on uh, setting six or seven. Wow. Yeah, I checked the uh, AliExpress website for this razor. It's not cheap. No, 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 it's not cheap. It's uh, about £120, I think. So it's probably about 130 getting towards $140. So, uh, not a cheap razor, by any means. But 
we are paying for um, stainless steel. It should last a lifetime. Yeah, it does feel um, very smooth in use. Yeah, that is good grip, good grip on that. Not slippery at all with wet fingers. Right, wow, it feels excellent. Let me rinse, I'll come back for the second pass. Okay, rinsed off. Yeah, that feels absolutely amazing. There's one little weeper here. I think I've had in the last three or four shades. There's one little dot, it's not maybe the cold water there. Sorted it, but um, I don't know. Right, I'm gonna turn this razor down from number seven to, uh, let's go, let's go four. Let's set it at number four. Back to this brush, look at that. With tobacco. Are there any um, scents, soap scents or splashes or stuff like that that you used when you first started out and then you thought, nah, that's, oh, I don't like that. And then you've come back to it and thought, wow, I really like that. <laughs> I never used to like, um, like really smoky scents, but I kind of like them now. <laughs> Maybe your, um, your taste changes as you get older, you know. Maybe your taste changes as you get older. You're a wee bit, oh, I like a wee bit of a smoky scent. No, you know, nothing like a donut or something. I don't want my soap to smell like that, but you know. Right. <laughs> Number four on the Yaki Ultima. Cross the growth. Right. You can hear that cutting, I can feel it cutting, but it doesn't feel like there's a blade in that. Yeah. Um. You certainly can hear it cutting, listen to that, feedback. Amazing. Yeah, I've always said that about adjustable razors. Um, I really like them. Just because you can, you can go as aggressive or as mild as you like. You know, depending on if you've got, if you're a daily shaver, you might have an adjustable that you only use on setting three or number two or even number one. You know, find what's right for you. But the uh, the good thing about an adjustable is it lets you do that. It gives you the option to, you know, it's like having six razors in one. You know what I mean, in terms of aggression. Yeah, look, there's that one little spot there. You know, maybe if you've got like a heavy beard growth, a few days growth, you can use a higher setting and bring it down for second pass, third pass, like I'm doing just now. But I'm just, I'm really just testing it out just to see how it feels. But um, number six, or the highest setting, number seven, actually, felt quite good. Four feels really good, but we'll take it down again for the uh, against the growth pass. But to be honest, there's not much left there. <laughs> there's a little bit of a go like that, like that way against the growth. Right, let me rinse, I'll come back for the third pass and we'll see what setting we're going to see in a minute. Okay, that's that nicely rinsed. Right, let's um, let's go for the high set and then we'll go right down to the lowest setting to see how that is. So straight down to number one. Some people might say that won't work, Kevin. That'll just skim over the soap, but we'll see if it does. We'll take it up a notch or two. Right back to this uh, brush. Yeah. I've not used a, a badger knot for a, a good while. Let's 
synthetics are the the thing now. Even Simpsons, I think. Even a lot of brushes they um, put out have the the synthetic knot. The what's the what's the knot called? Is it tri not Trafalgar with the um, Sauron fiber? I just like using any. There's more of a, a learning curve for using a badger or a bow knot. Synthetic's just a, almost like a plug and play. You just uh, set it up and it just does it. Which is great. Well, which a lot of people want. They don't want to be mucking about with soaking brushes and making sure there's not too much water in the badger here because it holds the lather more. And, I'm talking today, all right? Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm talking today. Don't you worry about it. I'm talking. Did you put the sound off? Right, against the growth on uh, Yaki Ultima number one. You can hear that. Yeah, so that's, um, it feels mild, but you can hear it still, it's still cutting. It's still doing its thing. So it just shows you, it does have a, a broad range. Going from the highest setting, number seven, uh, right down to number one. Yeah, a little, couple of little pimples here. Maybe they're eating those chocolates. Yeah, that serves you right. You broke your tooth eating them. Fatty tatty. People that are not from Scotland will be going, fatty tatty, what does that mean? It's just a Scottish uh, term, of, term of endearment. <laughs> fatty tatty. Right, yeah, let's see. Little spots. Right, let's have a, a feel, a quick rinse and a little feel about not much needing picked up there. Yeah, hardly anything needing picked up. Maybe just a touch of right up. I'll, I'll take the razor up to number um, three for the pickups. Just a tiny little spot there, usual spot. Again, very smooth. That blade's lovely actually, very smooth as well. The blade and the razor, great. Right, good stuff. Yeah. Nice shave, right, let's take what's in this brush. Clean, to back, have a face wash with that. Clear everything out, I'll see you for the post shave for my final thoughts on the Yaki Ultima. Great shave. There we go. 
Right, on to the post shave. A little bit of wet chisel. Like I said before, a little restrictor. Um, I always put this uh, wet chisel on, just as every day is part of my daily skincare routine. Just helps your skin. Just a little bit, just near. Put on. Good stuff. Good work on that. Right, uh, the splash, can you guess? To back? Yep. To back. In the oh, ceramic bottle. There's a nice restrictor in it as well. Not worn this for a long time. Oh, what a great scent. Yeah, it's not a, it doesn't smell like tobacco. It's um, like a green tobacco scent. It's like a, I like it when it dries down, it's really nice. Quite a strong scent as well, so it lasts for a good few hours. Uh, and to finish it off, L'Oreal Men Expert Hydro Sensitive Birch Sap. It's not much. Just to finish things off nicely. Yeah, little pimples there. Too much chocolate, Kevy. Serves you right, broken tooth. Yes, yeah, so we'll be up early tomorrow and head down to the dentist to try and get an emergency appointment to see. I just want to see if it's, um, it's not painful. I think I've had root canal done on that tooth. Um, but I just want to see if it's going to hold and it's not going to kind of crumble away at the weekend. Start, I don't know. Why am I telling you this in a shavery? I don't know. Maybe some guys are dentists there. Yeah, send me your number if you're, <laughs> if you're a dentist. <laughs> Um, right, okay, there's the shave. Yeah, very good, successful, very nice. Right, what did we use today? We used the um, tobacco shave stick. Uh, there it's there. I'll just leave this like that for a couple of days, let it dry out, and then I'll uh, put the lid back on, put it back in its box. The brush was the Strike Gold Shave Portis. I can't remember what this is called. Is it Coffee Caramel or something like that? Caramel Swirl, there's the uh, coin in the bottom. Uh, bad or not, very good, very comfortable. Probably the one of the one of the most comfiest brushes to use uh, to hold. You can hold it whatever way. It's just really, really comfortable with that bit at the end. Yeah, it just fits in your hand, great. Um, the razor, star of the shave, the Yaki Ultima. Look, I've not even wiped it down. So we used it on setting high setting, which goes setting six plus one, so setting seven. Uh, second pass, we went to setting three. Was it or four? Can't remember. <laughs> then third pass went to setting one, and it still worked on setting one. So um, yeah, it was all good. And then the pickups we went to setting three. There it is there. Beautiful razor. As I say, quite expensive. So have a look at that and have a think about that if you're if you're in the market for a stainless steel adjustable. This one's very nice. Yeah, I like it. It's very smooth in use. Good weight to it as well. Yeah, it just has that classic razor look about it, doesn't it? Yeah, very nice. The only thing is, I wish they'd painted the numbers in, but you can do that yourself. As a, a wee project for you. That's a wee project from Kevy to you. Paint the numbers in your Yaki Ultima. Okay? If you want to. If you don't, just go and watch some TV or something. <laughs> so we did three passes pickups. Um, oh, the blade. The blade was the uh, second use Wilkinson Sword Brazil. Very good blade. I like it. Very smooth. Three passes pickups. Post shave was um, witch hazel, a little, little splash of that, matching aftershave splash, tabac, and finished it with the L'Oreal Men Expert Hydro Sensitive. Boy, have we talked in this shave. Yeah, you made up for the last shave, didn't you, Kevin? Yeah, yeah, I know. Who are you talking to? The guy in here, 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 the guy in here. Right, so there's the shave. Yeah, very good. Very smooth, nice and clean. There was a couple little dots here, but they've um, all but disappeared into the night. <sighs> uh, right, I <laughs> hope you have some good shades and uh, I hope you're enjoying life. And yeah, let me know if there's some scents that you don't like 
that you didn't, you never used to like, or that you like now, or ones that you did used to like, but you think, nah, I don't really like that now. I don't like it. Or uh, you know, if somebody's the hype and the you, people jump on the gravy train and oh, this is a great soap. It smells lovely, but it's subjective. It's subjective, isn't it? Um, scents and stuff like that. So everybody won't like the same scent. But I, I like tobacco. I never used to like it. I thought it was okay, but now I really like it. Right, that's all for me. Right, okay, I will see you in the next video. Have a great weekend. The weekend's coming up, uh, and I'll see you in the next year. Till then, take care.